guys, how's it going? It's Farmer Nick. Welcome back to episode 12 on Honeydew Farms. Yes, today we did finally add that John Deere 568 round baler. And we got it on the 4955 here. And we also got Demon, the amazing stack man on Earth in the New Holland uh, C232. Skid's here, and he's got the PJ, and we're loading up. Demon is going to be loading bales up, and we're going to go bale here a bit. So let's hop in her and give her. So this Yay. one. Oh, yeah. You can say what's up, whatever. You know? Um, hey, what's up, guys? So, yeah, we've been basically getting everything going. We got 500, almost 600K. We should have about somewhere around 700K when we're done here because we're doing field 21 down there. You guys can see a hired worker going in there. We got the 8R and the big spreader going. So the time I get off here in about an hour or so, that thing should be done there, and we should be sitting with another $145,000. And then we'll stick it over and do another mission, you know? Just keep her going. Keep her making cash flow better. Isn't that right, Demon? Cha-ching. <laughs> you always love the money. Oh, yeah. Um, we're also working on... We also got sheep going on. Pigs and cattle will be coming up very shortly, I'm hoping. So we also had the cop in here today. He says, you better get that grass bailed up there. Else I'm going to find you up, you know. I was like, okay, I'll get her done. So we better get cracking on that. That's what my plan was to do anyways. It's just been busy with doing other missions and, you know, making different, making more income. Put it that way. Yeah, we got we to gotta pull these guys out of the water with our money. Yeah. So everything is on low. So, so are, you, are you going up that way up the field? Yeah, I'm going to work up and down here right now and get them done for you. It'd be easier on you. Yeah, okay. I'll bring this good steer down and grab the truck and bring it down. Yep. So the windrows are a good size, it looks like, and we're going to get lots of bales. And I'm not sure where we're going to pile these guys yet. That's another thing we do not know about, Demon. I was thinking about up in that white shed by the house. Yeah, I was probably thinking the same thing. That would probably be a good spot for these bales. Because these are mostly going to be for the sheep and uh, horses. Right. So I was thinking probably up in that white shed, fill her up. Yes, sir. We've also been sounds, doing... Sounds like a plan. Yeah, we just about... On the 6M, I might, I might have a picture up for... Uh, I might throw a picture in here somewhere. But I'll show you guys later on during the video, maybe. Or anything like that. Um, we were carrying 10 bales... With the 6M. Yes. 10 hay bales. 10 of them. So, yeah, that's a little yeah, right. It was, it was pretty sick. <laughs> yeah. Too bad we didn't have any footage of that, but there will be footage of that stuff happening when the straw comes off. Probably. I don't know. Probably next. This Friday coming up. This is probably going out. Actually, Friday. So, we may do a live stream this weekend, but it's probably going to be back to next weekend. I'm um, probably going to be live streaming later on my channel tonight. Uh, doing, uh, I'm not sure what map. Uh, oh, uh, I can't remember. It's a new map, so uh, stay tuned for that. I got a new map I'm going to try out. And we'll see how we like it. Start from scratch, get started up in the SDS Series Combine, and we'll get harvested for the night. So I'll probably do about a four to three and a half hour live stream there, just messing around this new map. Put some hours in it, see what you guys think. Uh, planning on not going actually back to Rolling Hills, just because that game has always had lots of problems with corrupting, and it's not even funny. So hopefully we yeah, can... Yeah, that, that was pretty sick. I'm not paying... I'm so used to the square bill that I can just drive up and down, so I got to pay attention here more, guys. I do apologize. I'm going to unload this guy right here. But we're going to have lots of hay bales here. These are 800 um, ones, not 400. So that's one reason why I did put this baler in here. Just because they have nice big bales, right? So it holds a lot more. A lot easier for mix and feed if we did use them. But I think square bales are still going to get us beat because we can use that auto stack wagon we got for the semi. And then we could uh, pick up. Then we can end up turning around and pick up 10 bales at a time compared to, what, basically two hay bales on this thing. That's counting as two. Put two hay bales of square into the round bale here. That's basically how it is. So, Demon and I are going to probably use cattle or square bales for the cows and then the straw bales or the 
brown ones here, they'll be for the horses and stuff too. So I think we might have to get the horses up to date here later on tomorrow. Um, I looked at them the other night. They were a little low. I want to see what the actual price on them is, guys. So our horses right now are worth $500. That's not good. We got to get them up to 50 k uh, Sheep, we got lots of sheep here. That's about all we got right now. And then we got two, we got a large horse pen. Or not a large horse pen, but a large pig pen to get to getting pigs after the harvest here. And also along with cattle. So we'll be pretty busy. We're going to bail all of our oats up and end up selling it for more income. Just because, why not, right? So we'll probably end up turning around and getting the chopper out and buy the actual pickup head. It's probably going to be easier. And we might turn around and pick some of that up. Get our straw bales in, what we want. And then we'll turn around and pick up all the straw that we don't want. I'm not sure if we do want to do straw or what we're going to do. We'll see how much straw there's going to be. But there is going to be a lot of straw, guys. That big field right there is all going to be in oats. So I'll show you what's all in oats right here. Uh, right there. So this is all in oats. There's going to be a lots of here. And this is all our corn, right? So I want to keep a little bit of corn. That way we can harvest it and... You know, I want to have a little bit of harvest in corn, right? So with the actual combines and stuff. So we'll probably end up making sure that we do sell bales, bale it, and then chop it up, right? So it'll be all pretty good. Um, I would, guys, this baler is public. I don't... I think you can go on, like, normal LS and all that stuff to find it. Also, I'm going to say another thing right now. Squad and uh, a whole bunch. Squad basically has his own mod page and everything right now. Um, I would show you guys a little bit about it right now, but I cannot get the link to open, so I gotta text Squad and get him to send me the actual link that'll actually open because I can't get it to work today. I actually should try it on my uh, actual desktop here, but I couldn't get it to work on my laptop earlier, and I forgot to try it here earlier. So I will show you guys a little bit about this mod site. Um, that's basically, we do put a lot of our mods up there pro, or release that you guys can have. So, basically a lot of the mods that we do use end up getting put up there, I believe. Or just different mods in general that we don't use. There's lots of different mods that do end up getting put up there as well. Just for the giggles, you know? Different people. I'm not sure how many people that have been downloading it and whatnot. But can you guys please do me a favor and go and check out squad has his own mod page i don't know there might be some people that might work on getting some private mods in there but you know artist jack probably get his couple trucks up there and all that stuff probably i'm not sure so let's see what happens i'm gonna just keep hammering give it give us give us some feedback when you go to that uh, mod page and uh, tell us what you think of it give us some feedback in general on the videos what you guys thinking about them uh what else do you guys want to see I know we're going to do some, uh, we are going to do, um, some potatoes and sugar beet one of these days. Um, we did sugar king. Oh, potatoes. I know you love them. I hate them. <laughs> um, we'll see what else is there in 19 that's out there. I don't think there is much else. We're basically going to have everything covered. That's going to be good. I'm thinking about doing, like, a big dairy crop series that I literally all we do is we just literally run like 30,000 head of cattle or something like that. That would be fun. That would really be fun. I'd be in for that. <laughs> I haven't told Demon any of this stuff yet either. So I do have a safe game of a big farm set up. And they're pretty. it's pretty minty. So that could be if we do a live stream tonight. We could maybe start in that. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but I might want to play on Clover Creek. That's what the map is. I just thought of it all of a sudden. So that's what the map is. So let me know what you guys think about doing like a massive dairy operation. Like 30 head of cow, 30,000 head of cows or something similar, but literally quite a few head of cow. So let me know what you guys think about that. And uh, yeah, let's just keep bailing. So I'm not sure what's going to go on with the exam period, but as I've been saying for the exam period, I'd go to school at 8.20, start class at 8.20 as always, and then I'd uh, 
come home about 11 o'clock and that's all I have to do. And then I'd be done about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Depends on my exam, but a lot of my exams are only going to be an hour or two, so it's going to be uh, pretty simple. And then I'm off for a couple days, and then I go back to school for the next semester. That's how uh, it's set up here in Canada is we do four classes for a few months, and then we switch over and we take a different four classes. So you have eight different classes, eight different subjects, right? So they're all in different classes, and then you turn around and uh, do them half semester. You do some of the good ones, and then you get some of these ones that you're like, eh, I don't want to do that. Why do I need to do it? But, you know, if you want your grade 12 diploma, that's what we call it here in Canada. I don't know if any of you guys in the U.S. still have that kind of term. Demon, you might know, do you? Yeah, we call it a diploma, a graduation. You know, high school diploma is basically what we call it, a high school diploma. All right. So, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not from the U.S. I couldn't tell you much about the U.S., honestly, either. But Keep in mind, too, uh, when I graduated, that was, what, 20-some uh, years ago? <laughs> they probably haven't changed it, or else you would probably know about it, right? I would think so, yeah. So... I could actually look it up on Google, too, you know, but that's just a lot of work. When you got a natural guy that is from the U.S., why don't you just ask him, right? So. Exactly. Okay, this is going to get a bit hairy. I'm going to try it. I don't know if it's going to work. The skid steer just doesn't quite lift up high. Enough. Oh. Sucks. I could have grabbed the bail a little lower. I um, might have to get a telehandler. Do we need a telehandler? Probably. It's not bad, but if you grabbed it lower... Wait, wait, wait. Look at it, look at it, look at it. It's minty. Yeah, but if you grabbed it lower down, it'd work pretty good. Yeah, I think it would, next time I'm going to grab a little lower see how that works. Yeah. They're, the bales are actually kind of uh, glitchy. Uh, I don't a know little if bit. it's because of, because of the modded uh, baler there. I don't know, but I noticed if you, if you go if you go too low, you can't uh, you can't put the forks in. But that's actually forks. It's not pallet forks. Eat two, right? True. We are True. using the pallet forks because it's got a high back on it, and it's a lot easier right now than those bale spikes that are not set up. We could use the actual bale spikes that come with the the one shredder, but that's another thing. They would have to buy it. But we are going to end up needing that kind of a shredder shredder too to blow the straw in for the horses. So we'll see. Right. We'll probably end up getting it, but I have, I like the bales. I like the bale spikes a lot better. Sorry, guys. Um, just because that's what how firms work do, and I'm not trying to copy them or anything, but that's kind of what happens. You don't when you run a skid steer kind of like that, and you're kind of a half-ass operation. You usually don't have a pair of bale spikes, right? See, we only have two set of bale spikes in our farm and one set of power forks. So. And, you know, there's two buckets for each loader. So everything's kind of minty there. But, yeah, look forward to some real-life videos coming up shortly. Uh, might be some sap videos and stuff like that, maple syrup. I'll explain more about that stuff. If I am going to do some videos on that stuff, let me know if you really want some maple syrup sap videos and all that stuff. By giving me a thumbs up and a comment saying you really want to see some maple syrup stuff. And I will try my best to get some nice footage for that. Let's back around up. So we're almost done bailing. This should be pretty good timing because this is all we got. Hopefully I can get the last bit in the baler. Ah, oh, 99. But there's still some going up, right? So that what I did in Winrow, just because it was so small. What's the point of running the Winrow area over it? And it's gonna be half in the field. Then I'd probably just take the fertilizer off the field. So then I'd have to come back and blow fertilizer back on top, you know. So I just left it, and I'm gonna run the baler up and down it three times or so. I've already been down here once just to get the baler down here. So let's try it again. Works pretty good. Hey. Looks like this grass is ready to be cut again. I know. Want to cut more grass? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've had enough uh, grass and hang for the night. 
speaking, that's all we've done. So we'll carry on. Looks like it might just about get her all here. Depends where you go, because I noticed... I didn't make this straight across here too straight, I've noticed, too. There is a spot where it does get wider, and there's a spot where it does narrow. At this end, it's narrow and wider up here. Because, you know, I was trying to keep it straight and not have a big dip in her, so... I put a slowly curve and made her smaller in it. Looks like right here is that we're starting to widen out. Yeah. But this pickup is pretty wide, too. It's... That's one thing I do like about this deer baler. It is wider than quite a few of them. I think this is wider than the actual square baler one. So, kind of happy about that one. Just because, you know, I don't have to mess around with wind rise, but I still would. I'm surprised there hasn't been like a Vermeer rake or anything like those small, uh, well, I guess we do have the coon one. I forgot we had the coon one in here. I honestly just forgot about that coon one we have tell you the honest truth but i tell you man i'm getting i'm getting better at this over here that's good practice makes perfect look, this, look, this is looking pretty sweet <laughs> yeah so yeah don't forget to go and subscribe to my channel and if you guys want to see long live streams on farming simulator 2019 or whatever you know ben messing around and want to play together on the xbox just go over there and subscribe and turn post notifications on and we'll uh, basically keep an eye out for us and we'll do something like that. We are planning on doing a lot more uh, Twitch streams and stuff like that, mostly. Planning Twitch on, streams? Yeah. On the Xbox so people can play. Oh, gotcha. Just because we want to get, we want to let fans play with us on the Xbox One stuff. Just a different story. Too bad there wasn't. Like, I'd totally get a dedicated server on the Xbox One just for a whole bunch of people, and then you guys could just go in there and play on it, right? Have an open server for you guys. But too bad there wasn't. Too bad there wasn't something like that. I kind of hate that part. But it's nothing you can really do about it, right? wonder where demon is I'm way up the field here I'm, I'm trying to pick two bales at once and I, it's not working out so well for me we're gonna leave this tractor running right here and let's go hop in the Ford here for demon pull it up and he can load those two on and then demon's got to drive back his, himself over might take him a few minutes Look at that. Think I can load that? I don't oh, think yeah. so. Ooh, that actually might work out pretty pretty good. Watch this. Probably just. I can go ahead. Just it's... line her up. Okay. Don't move. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. No. It ain't going to work. Because for one, for one I, I, I picked these way too high. I ain't going to be able to lift them up. Ready? <laughs> muscle man there we go that's a good thing you went to the gym this morning <laughs> I know tell me what you need there boss forward go right to the right to the right to the right uh forward a little more a little more okay stop right there for a sec go back a smidge okay right good no, 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 no. Forward, 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 forward. Uh, hold on. No, don't drop me. Get me back up, you screwball. We're almost there. We almost got it. Good? Pull me out. Pull me out. Let's see what happens. Minty. <laughs> As this we ain't killed so Minty. <laughs> What are you rocking for? This ain't your baby carriage. <laughs> Quit playing in your baby carriage, Demon. <laughs> demon, pick up a bale and I'll meet you at the barn. Alright. Might as well take this incredible trail that squad made in here for us. Let's go Wait and test her out. This thing goes eight miles an hour. 
You're gonna be able to go unload those and come back, and I'll still only be halfway across. <laughs> I know, right? I think I got an idea. Watch this. Oh lord. Oh lord. I guess I gotta come back with a bailer too. Demon, don't put a bail on. I got an idea. Okay. Just hop out, please. Thank you, sir. I don't need no dang skid steer. Hmm. Real. Oh, I didn't know they had a mirror up there, too. That's pretty minty. Yeah, if you guys are wondering why I always say minty, that's my new word instead of good. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it is kind of weird, guys. <laughs> what do you know about it? I didn't know the word really existed till I met you. I know, right? All right, fold oh, that. That ain't gonna work. Fold those ramps up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's working. <laughs> oh yeah, she's working. Okay, now I'll throw it up there. Throw her up. She put, it, put, it, put it sideways. Got him. Yes, yes, guys, this is realistic farming. Not at all, but go. Okay, you sit there. Okay, <laughs> right. Here we go. <laughs> hey, um, you were supposed to stay on. I know, right? I didn't what work happened? too well. I'll bring a band. I'll meet you there. All right, good. Ha <laughs> ha. See how I did that? I, now I don't have to drive that slow uh, skid steer back. Yep. Back up just a tad. Yeah, this was an awesome road that he put in here. I really like this. And then uh, opening those trees up. Sweet. Oh, I guess we're going to have to look at this bale for the next five minutes. You know? Long ways away. <laughs> Do you want to drive the truck and I'll come drive the skid steer? Now nah, we'll get there between now and 3,000 years from now. Well, let's see. What time of day is it? 1,700. Eh, you ought to be here by next morning. Yeah, I should see you in the morning. I'll have the coffee on well, for that you. That farm does look pretty darn good when you're sitting back here. Um, Nick? Yep. I dented the Ford. The Ford. Uh, that's going to come out of your paycheck? I jackknifed it. <laughs> yeah, that's coming out of your paycheck there, buddy. But the bales are intact. And well, as long as the bales are intact, but still... It's going to have to come off your uh, salary paycheck there off the farm. Okay, so you're going to take nothing from my nothing. Yeah, there you go, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll be even. But probably, um, <laughs> what? Tony, go ahead. I don't know, it's a long haul over here. Oh, look at that. Lucky came out to greet me. Lucky, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's our dog that we keep running over every time we come in the driveway. Right on. It's not very lucky. I know, pretty much. I think you we'll keep. Too late. I think we'll keep the skid steer around here, and we'll get the loader tractor, and we'll put an actual, buy an actual bale spike for it, and then we'll be able to give her just run the loader back out there. It'll be a lot easier. And all quicker. right. Trailer set up, and she's all in front of the white barn here, where we're going to put them. Now we just need Nick with a tractor. The tractor, eh? Yes, sir. The skid steer? No skid steer. Well, that's what I'm coming with, so I hope you enjoy it. No, no, I hate the skid steer. Oh, You're yeah. going to twist them around to put them in there, and they're going to fly off the forks. Sir, why don't you want the skid steer? Because the skid steer bites. Give me five reasons why. <laughs> five reasons? Okay. Uh, I said it sucks. I said it sucks. I said it sucks. <laughs> I said it sucks. And I said it sucks. There's not, your five. Not repeated. It. Oh, <laughs> you didn't say that part. Well, I thought it's common sense, you know. No, you gotta be specific on the rules of yes. how you want me to I uh, do that. He doesn't have common sense. I forgot. You know what? You come over here with that skid steer. You get to get a bail right in the face. Maybe I should just turn around and go the other way, you know? <laughs> Well, that won't be much for your viewers to see. Just going across country, you know? 
hey, I like the sheep farm. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I ended up buying the sheep pasture last night, if you guys are curious about that. Now I gotta find me a new girlfriend. Go edit that part Bit out, of a right? bump out. <laughs> Bit of a bump here, boys. One heck of a bump. <laughs> One heck of a bump there. I actually did stack up all those uh, bales or totes there that we've had around the farm. Sitting around here in weird places. And basically, yeah. So, I'm going to do a bit of a t kind of... I don't know what I'll do. I don't know. We could stack them in this red barn, but they're going to be too cold, far away from the uh, horses and stuff up here. No, come on down here by the sheep farm. I got the bale sitting in front of the white barn. Is the truck out? Uh, is there a truck in there? There's a pickup truck in there. No, there ain't. Oh, I guess it's on the water trailer over here. Either that or somebody stole it. No, I got it over here on the water trailer last night I got. So you guys can see okay. what's going on. It's kind of pretty good over here. We're thinking about getting chickens maybe too down the road. Let us know if you want us to. And then we'll be running all the animals in Farming Simulator 2019. Demon, what do you think about getting chickens? I always like chickens. They're free, you know, pretty easy to take care of, you know. Right on. Free money. Free money. Right on. I mean, it's not like uh, we're going to have any shortage of oats or anything to feed them. Right. Alrighty. You don't need this walk-in door, right? Yeah, we don't need that door. About to fill this whole thing up with them. Right on. We're going to tip them up because that's more realistic to tip them up once and then put a bale across them. Demon's gonna put him there. I'll just drop him and flip them. We can unload this pretty quick. Yeah, it won't take long, I don't think. Oh, I know. Demon will make sure they're A-OK -okay before I put the top ones on and we'll be all minty. And yes, I just said minty again. I don't know. Do you guys like when I say minty? Can I comment on it? <laughs> Go right ahead. Gets old after a while. Minty. But minty. <laughs> See if... I don't know. Do you think we should leave room between that door? Just in case some, um, like, Ryler, you know, opens the door. No. Let's, uh, let, let him get a bail on the face when he comes in that door. <laughs> You'd be like, okay, rather, yeah, open that door up. Oh, I can't. There's bales. I forgot. That shed is full of bales, ding dong. Uh, okay. <laughs> excuse me. Pardon me, sir. We have an issue. Yeah, you can fix that. Not very safe. Totally. Safest thing I've ever don't... seen. I do not have my safety glasses on, thank you. Oh, do I need you to send you a pair? Please. Okay, here you go. And if nobody knows, uh, he likes to wear his safety glasses. Yeah, these guys over here like to make fun of me because I wear safety glasses all the time, right? You know, if you actually worked on the pipeline, you actually have to wear work mitts or else you'll get rode up. Do you know work that? Work mitts? Yeah, work gloves. Really? Yeah, they'll write you up. It's kind of wow. weird. Any of you guys didn't know that? I didn't know that, so I learned something. Don't they say you learn something new each day? That's my goal. So my grandfather go. always used to tell us to try to learn something new each day, and then, you know. Right on. Alrighty, guys, I will show you guys what happens in the next video. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.